85 pace, 78 passing, 75 dribbling, 90 defending, 90 physical, and he's about 30k. So he's surely up there with the best SBCs this year. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today we've got episode number 202 of the Road to Ronaldinho, the second part of weekly, as well as open a couple of packs. So let's get into it. So yeah, um, Sunday, as you can see on the, at the right hand side, we've got a mini release of Busquets, Payet and Coleman. Three very decent cards. Um, we also got some very nice content in the form of Pepe, 89 centre-back. He's got 85 pace, 78 passing, 75 dribbling, 90 defending, 90 physical, and he's about 30k. So he's surely up there with the best SBCs this year. Um, very, very cheap. I think someone compared his stats to um, Shodan Laporte, which was an 84 and an 87 squad, whereas this is an only 83 squad. So it's very, very cheap, and we're going to start by doing him. Um, it's uh, one Portugal player, one team of the week, 83 rated, 75 can players that I won't miss, including a red pick and a team of the week. And then away we go, and we've got Pepe in the club. He's going to be good fodder for SBCs if we need to use him, but when sort of La Liga, the Portugal team season comes out, it could be quite a useful option if we pack quite a few of them that fit into the team. Uh, but yeah, we're going to bring Pepe in, and obviously we do have um, Ruben Diaz, team of the year card as well. So you can link to him. We've got Jose Sars. Fantasy foot card. Um, so, yeah, he's, he looks like a very good option. And if I don't use him, he's some decent fodder at the end of the day. As well as that card, we also got Moment Ixias. Uh, obviously, I have his mid from Icon Swaps 1. It's not the greatest card, but this card looks very, very nice. Quite similar to the Reese. Um, but I'm tempted to do him just because of that dynamic image with the World Cup. Very, very, very nice dynamic image. Uh, six squads on him to complete, which is obviously the usual stuff of... Um, Bronze and silvers. Then we've got an 83, an 85, uh, another 85, and an 87 squad. So it means about 300k um, to complete from scratch. And then I think that was it from 6 pm content. I might have missed some that. But yeah, we're going to open some packs as well to, uh, to start the episode. Um, we have done Captain's Cup now as well, so we have a 100k pack to open. Um, so quite excited by what we could potentially get in that. But I've also decided on the level 27 pack. Uh, I'm going to go for the Liga over Bundesliga and League 1. Obviously, at the moment, we've got Marcelo out. Uh, we've got Benzema's man of the match and Busquets. Three very nice cards. Benzema were for fodder, but uh, yeah, we're going to take the La Liga. Um, yeah, just because yeah, I think it uh, might give us the best sh shot of something good. Um, and yeah, community team season vote is out. I'll be doing probably a tweet about that rather than the video. Um, but you can check it out on EA socials. Uh, that starts 29th and the full schedule is released. So it's going up until uh, 17th of June when uh, Ultimate Team of the Season will end. Yeah, let's do League at Prime Players Pack first. We are still recording. That's always a worry. Yeah, that's not good, is it? It's going to be Isco. But I was hoping we might get something, but that's just terrible. <laughs> An 82 from that pack, so probably shouldn't have even saved it. Um, bit of a shame, but hey ho, it is what it is. And then we got the 100k pack. We have an 84 guaranteed. Can we get a foot captain from Team 2? Come on. If we don't, we're going 88 plus walkout. It's going to be Mo Salah. Okay. I'll take that. Fantastic fodder. Uh, in terms of fodder, I've got Van Dijk and Mane from Liverpool as well. And Cavani and Bedinger and Illicic. are not too bad. Uh, in terms of dupes, oh, we got a Man of the Match card as well. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not bad for a free pack at the end of the day. Um, in terms of dupes, there's quite a lot, so um, let's fly through these. Hopefully, a lot will be tradable. If not, we can just discard them anyway. Um, there is no player picks at the moment. Hopefully, they come out tomorrow. Uh, whether we get them like last week, probably not. They never seem to do uh, back to back, but no. Salah from that, not too bad, and we'll discard the rest. Not too bad about them. So, yeah, uh, we're in a good position. Um, in terms of weekend league, obviously in yesterday's episode we played horrifically. Um, and I was looking at Ronaldinho on the market and he, he went on bid for 4.9. So he's coming down ever so slightly. So we should be able to get him in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully before team of the season starts. Um, but yeah, so uh, we were 3 and 2. Um, I played games off camera and we're now 8 and 2. So we're going to play 5 in today's episode, then 5 in tomorrow's episode, plus the rewards from that. And then back to sort of usual content on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, we need. Obviously, all 10 for rank 2, which is going to be a very tough task, no doubt about that. Uh, for two ultimates, two team leagues, 100k. Um, otherwise, we need eight wins, so exactly the same record from the first 10 games um, to hit rank 3, which is probably more going to be the aim. Um, 
just because yeah, it'd be a, a little less stressful, stressful. But you never know. Um, we've done it before. Maybe we do it again. We'll have to see. But yeah, let's get into that first game of the episode. Where we've been matched against Pele, Vegos, Prime Dino, Moment, Xavi, Zanetti, and Ashley Cole. We've got Rudiger and Varane as the uh, centre-backs, but we're getting a free win. So all that team analysis doesn't really matter because we're getting the free win. So thank you very much to that guy. A lovely start to Weekend League, God of Spa. Thank you for the free win. And yeah, we're going to be 9-2. After that free win, we've got a few more moments card. Well, one moments card. We've got Alan St. Maxim in the card as well, the upgraded one. I think he's going to a 94 now as well. Uh, but yeah, let's hope we can go uh, 9 and 2. No, 10 and 2 after this. How has that got through? I, d I don't understand this game. I really don't understand this game. We win the tackle, it's gone straight to him. Nice play. Let's go. Uh, why am I committing like that? It's just honestly stupid defending. Big head. Poor keeping will take it. 3 2. Nice. Double tap. Drill it. Dino. Why is he behind him? Nice. Play him. Go on, Rice. He's gone off this weekend, Luke. Nice. One more. What is that horrific touch? Nice. Let's go. We'll take it. Bad touch in the first place, but somehow managed to get the equaliser. Free all. Come on, Mbappe. Why is no one in the box? Why is no one in the box? There we go. It's Again, I don't know why it's such a heavy touch, but we'll take it. Nice. One more. Dino. 5-3. What a comeback. Play Go on. Little chip. Let's go, Jermaine Defoe. 6-3. I don't have any words for those sort of goals apart from fix your gameplay. Come on. Nice. Good tackle. Away we go. And that is that. Yeah. So we were 3 1 down, come back. Both sides had gameplay sort of mechanics go their way. I uh, like it. It's quite obvious. From some of the tackles, some of the deflections, some of the saves that keeps attempted, like especially one of my goals from a corner or a cross, Van der Sar. Was it Van der Sar? Basically, just uh, like palmed it into his net. Yeah, it was Van der Sar. And yeah, both sides uh, got the look. But yeah, we're going to get 10 and 2. Next up, pretty much nearly a full icon team. Um, because Hakimi and Cordoba are that sort of level. It's not upgraded Cordoba though. So that's one positive. But yeah, hopefully we can get another winner. Play him. Good ball. Go on Mbappe. No bottle. No bottle today. 1-0. Nice. Play him. Good ball. Go on Benny. You have a little chip this time. There we go. 2-0. We get the pause. Are we getting the rage quit? We are indeed. So yeah, that was good. Good, strong start. Um, two chips, Ben Yedda and Mbappe on the goal uh, score sheet. And yeah, we reverted back to that 4 1 2 1 2 narrow because 4 triple 2 just weren't cutting it for me. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to be 11 and 2. Next up, we got Salah. We got Jorginho team of the year, Rim DS team of the year. I think Puskas is prime version as well. So yeah, hopeful of uh, a winner. Tackle playing. First time. Let's go. 1 0. Come on. Come on, Ben Yedda. Green time if you can. Okay. Honestly, I, I despair of this game at times. I really do. Anyone else that goes to the fullback, for some reason, it decides to pass it straight to the other man. Great. Great, he's got to score it. He just knew it. Put someone on the back post and he still scores. Great, look at this lag. He's got to score it. Oh, this is the most frustrating part. You get the lag, he gets in behind, you can't defend. And then he scores. And that's going to be full time. Just a frustrating defeat again. Third goal is due to lag. Second goal, I can't remember, I'm going to watch again. And the first goal is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, I've gone for the switch. So, like, let's, let's see. Will it show me the other angle? Right, okay, so it's locked on to tell us. It's locked on to him. And it just falls massively short. He goes through and scores. This one. 
I lock on to Cafu. So I'm like, the ball's coming in there. And he still scores. It's just frustrating. It really is frustrating. But yeah, 11 and 3. For the final game of the episode, Tolisso, uh, De Jong, uh, best moments, Cagliari, uh, the 91. So there'll be a formation change. Don't know what to, but yeah, we need a winner. Nice. Straight at him. I've moved the keeper and it's gone for him. Nice, good ball. Come on, Mbappe. Sissoko, what are you doing? And it's come from the miss again. Oh, I cannot stand this game this weekend. I don't have any words for this horrific gameplay. Absolute joke. Every single weekend. Look at that. Ronaldinho has tackled Mbappe. Ronaldinho. A goal here. Best. Come on. Come on. Joke. Come on. There's two of you. The final 20 minutes. Come on. Oh, the Sums up my look. And that is that. And that will be all for just this terrible game. gameplay. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, how's... How's it going through his legs here? I've moved him on that side, and it's hit his underside of his arm and gone through him. I don't get it. I just don't get the mechanics. Like here. I passed it about two minutes before. It's going straight to him. Cafe, what are you doing? Can he do it? Keeper, what are you doing? That's three goals there. They don't go in. It's 2-1. And then, yeah, you just have to look at the XG. It just isn't my day. But, yeah, oh, well, we've got to be 11-4, and four, so we can't lose uh, any game in tomorrow's episode, otherwise it would rank 4 finish. But, I mean, I'll take a, a rank 4 finish at, at this point. It's just, yeah. It's only going to get worse. That's the, that's the most concerning thing because obviously the team of the season is going to be in two weeks. So it's going to get worse for me. It's going to get more sweaty. Um, and yeah, I just don't know sort of how to combat it. Like you've had a FGS3 this weekend as well and there was obviously a lot of complaints around the gameplay there. Um, you should have to look on Twitter for that. But yeah, this is the team that I'm looking at next. Um, I'll probably bring Varane back in just because from an AI perspective, I, I mean, I hated him, but I'm going to stick an angel on him, bring Varane back in. Because uh, Mings, he's, he's okay, but like he's not like elite level. Um, get some coins back there, and then yeah, I just need a new left back. So probably take I don't know, I don't even know who could bring in, but um, maybe even play Pepe at centre back. If you look at Pepe, um, how would he fit in there? Let's maybe think. So you could bring in where is it? Pepe there. So bring him in there, um, and then left back. Uh, is many Portuguese left backs that I've probably missed out on? I think there was one, weren't there? For Rafa Suarez, but yeah, probably look for like a Cancelo, um, and then switch them like that, uh, and then probably even bring uh, Jose Sarim. So that could be an option. Um, obviously, won't be on Ken then, so maybe if it isn't the best sort of play. But yeah, um, I just need to make some sort of changes, uh, and yeah, look at doing that. Uh, and Kunku play the month SBC. Even though he's probably at team season in whenever it comes out, middle of May. Um, but yeah, just as we're getting a Cagliari in to the team. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. If you have, hit the like button. Let us know what you think of that new Pepe SBC and have you packed any of the new from the new Sunday release. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.